Want a chance at winning one of these three pin blister packs? The Entei, Suicune, and Raikou? All you gotta do is make sure to leave a like on the video, comment on the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel and you'll be automatically entered to this awesome, awesome giveaway. This giveaway is gonna drop once we hit 500 subscribers, so get in while you can. Hey, what's up guys, Mudkip Pal here. Welcome back to the second part of this Sun and Moon Burning Shadows booster box of Doe or No. First part of this booster box was definitely Doe, man. I mean, the GXs we pulled were beautiful. So if you guys didn't go check that out, uh, really quick explanation of what this is. It's pretty much like a profit or loss kind of thing, but I'm gonna call it do or no, cause it sounds fun. Anyways, we're gonna try to figure out if we can make any money or any profits from the booster box that we bought. So like I mentioned in the first video, if you guys haven't watched it, make sure to go check it out now or after the video. It's your choice, cause the polls are definitely dope. But yeah. Um, I basically bought this booster box for about a hundred dollars. Um, I'm in Canada, so I did the conversion rate. It's about a hundred dollars US. A little bit more expensive than what you can get or what you have to pay for in the US, but it is what it is. But we're gonna try to hit at least 50 bucks in this half. The first half was amazing. Go check it out. Anyways, I'm gonna get started with the packs. Got a Pan Sage, Coral Gunk, Pikachu, Pampor. Good fly, Porygon 2, Pull Down, Desclops, Reverse Hollow Rare Lycan Rock, ooh, and a Hollow Rare Zygarde. So no GX there, but we got two Hollow Rares. And Hollow Rares are sitting at about I mean when you're selling bulk they're they're valued at about 10 cents each, I think. So um, not a ton, but at least they're better than the three cents that commons or like normal rares are at. Anyways, start over the Wimpy. Token Demaru, Cruel Gunk. Panzer, Magikarp, it's a Viper, Super School Pup, Semaphore, Reverse Hollow, Heatmore, and a Beware for the Rare. Two packs in. And don't forget, guys, codes are worth a decent amount too. They're about 50 cents each. So, it's nice that we have codes here. Anyways, on to the next pack. We have a Lady Ba, Lolan Grimer, Riolu, Meowth, Lolan Vulpix. Whirlabeat, Seven Sage, Weakness Policy, Reverse Hollow, Olivia, and an Araquanid for the rare. Alright, hopefully the hits come. Because Burning Shadows has a lot of really sweet stuff. Three, and unfortunately the energies, you can't really sell them as bulk. But it's all good, we can keep them in a personal stash of like a million energies. Anyways, got another Lolan Grimer, Sneasel, Crab Brawler, Meowth, Stuffle. Sophocles, Escape Rope, Rotom Dex, Pokefinder Mode, Reverse Hollow Noibat, and then Azumarill for the rare. I don't know if Azumarill is worth anything special. I know that one of the rares from the set that is worth a decent amount is Alolan Ninetales. So we'll make sure to look out for that. <laughs> Alright, on to the next pack we got a Lady Ba, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Curlia, Ribombi. Guzma, your boy Guzma. It's about a dollar and thirty cents, so that's pretty good. Reverse Hollow Super Scoop Up and Pissimian. I'm curious, is Super Scoop Up worth anything more than just just the um? Because I don't comment on comments are just three cents, but I don't know if Super Scoop Up is worth a little more than that. Let's look that up really quick. I mean, there are a lot of decks that use it. Oh, well, I mean, Ace Rolla is a bit is better than that because you're guaranteed to pick up. Um, the Pokemon that you have that is injured, but um, I think Super Scoop Up should be worth a decent amount. Let me let me check a little bit on my computer. Anyways, I tried looking up how much Super Scoop Up is, but the Wi-Fi is not cooperating right now, so um, I'll do it in a little bit, just a little bit. So we'll get back to that. We'll just, just get continue with the packs. So I'll put all these Super Scoop Ups on this side, I guess. And we'll we'll see. We'll try to figure out if they're worth a little more than than just normal and commons and commons. It is an uncommon, I believe. Yes. All right. I think most trainers are in commons. I think so. Anyways, sort of this this pack with the crow brawler, Sneasel, Benipede, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Wick, 
Wishful Baton, Rebombi. Hey, Reverse Hollow Deancey. I do need this to com complete my set. Definitely happy with that. And for the rare, we have a Soleil GX. Alright, we're not gonna complain. It is a rare. So that is good. Alright, let's leave that up real quick. Alright, so let's see. So Lazo GX. I actually don't know how much that is cost. Or I mean that is, that is worth. Um, let's look it up real quick if my Wi-Fi is working now. Yes it is, thank god. Alright, troll and toad or TCG, let's see. Um so as of now, I usually look at troll and toad or face to face games or uh, TCG players I use sometimes. But anyways, Lazo is sitting at three dollars. Not a whole lot, but it is a GX, so we're not gonna complain too much. All right, our goal is to hit 50 for this pack, this half of the opening. So hopefully we get somewhere close to that. All right, start up with a mud bray, Ladyba, Hoot, Alolan Vulpix, Ralts, Lumeria, Lunatone, Olivia, Reverse Hollow, Alolan Vulpix, and a Persian for the rare. Oh, now that the internet is working, let's see. Super Scoop Up is just sitting at about 25 cents. So it's normal, it's, it's just the same as other uncommons, uncommon trainers. A little bit, I was, I was hoping it'd be worth a little more than that, because it is a one of the better trainer cards. But I think Deancey would be worth a little more than the other ones. Did I do the card trick? Let's hope I did. Okay, we got a Crab Rowler, Sneasel Venipede, Horsey, Cutie Ply, Sea Drug, Loom. Luna Tone, Reverse Hollow Pan, Pour and a Broxish for the rare. Alright, let's look up Deontay really quick. Deontay from Burning Shadows, it's just 50 cents. Don't know why. It's actually a super playable card. Especially in Gardevoir GX, such a popular deck to play right now. Eh, I, I would thought it I thought it'd be worth a little more than that. Actually I'm I'm quite surprised. Anyways, on to the next pack. Here we go, got a hoot hoot. If the camera focuses, there you go. Angela, Duke Fighter, Inke, Ralts, Super Scoop Up, Bottom Dex Poker Finder Mode, Cedra, Reverse Hollow, Rare Shenotic, and a Lolan Radicate for the rare. Alright, we're almost at the halfway mark, or maybe we're already at the halfway mark of this opening. Hopefully the hits pick up, man, because the Salazzo GX ain't gonna cut it. Alright, on to the next pack, here we go. Got a crab rowler, more low, Santa Gast, and better be horsey, dust clubs, ace a roller, that's good. Body building dumbbells, I don't think it's worth any extra either, which is kind of sad because I really like this trainer card. Reverse Holic Roll Gunk and a Shenotic regular rare. Let's count the codes. See how many packs in we are. One, two, three, four, five, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're just at the halfway mark, I think. Five, six, seven, eight. What? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That doesn't make sense. Eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. So we just passed the halfway mark. Hopefully the hits pick up like last time. Because that was definitely real cool to see. Three energy over there. Alright, here we go. Start over with a hoot hoot. Tangela, Dubiter, NK, Rolts, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Sophocles, Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow Rare Raichu, and a Hollow Rare Darkrai. So, more Hollow Rares to pad onto the tiny bench over there. But we want them ultra rares. We want them hyper rares, guys. Honestly, um, considering the amount of Burning Shadows I've opened, I don't have a lot of variety in hyper rares, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping for a bit more like, you know, Glissapods or even Gardevoir would be cool. Of course you want the Charizard Hyper Rare, but Charizard Hyper is the best. But you know, I've only been getting muck in my champ, which is really sad. Anyways, start with a more a little Caterpie. Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gas, Noctowl, hopefully we can get something better. Mao Lanakila, Simmasir, Reverse Hollow, Mudsdale. Oh yes! We have a Golisopod G. X. This is probably the second best GX you want to pull. Um, that is nice. And Blizzard is the deck that I am testing now. I like to play around with it a little bit because honestly, I re I've always liked Blizzard. If you guys watched my previous videos when uh, Burning Shadows wasn't out yet and 
Ballista Pod GX wasn't even announced yet. I was like, when we first saw the first Ballista Pod card, I was like, holy cow, we need a Ballista Pod GX. And man, he is good. All right, Ballista Pod GX is sitting at around twelve dollars and fifty cents just for the regular rare. So that is pretty cool. All right. Um, let's just get to the next pack. But I'm definitely happy with that. From this box, first part we pull the Gardevoir, and second part we pull a Glissapod. So we're definitely getting the money GXs, which is good. All right, on to the next card. You got a cute fly, Tana Mode, Duskull, NK, Stuffle, Wishful Baton, Soul Rock, Semaphore, Reverse Hollow, Cedra. Ooh, and a Lola Nine Tails. Even though it's just a regular rare, I believe it's worth a little more than the other cards. Um, let's. Look that up real quick. I think it's at least a dollar or not. No, the reverse hollow is a dollar. Kind of sad, but it is a good card nonetheless. All right, hopefully, we can pick up at least one more GX. One more or two. Two would be nice, but one. Come on, boost the box. Give me one. Just one. Maybe a secret rare or something. Morlo, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Xanagast, Buffalint. Charmeleon will collect those right on. Reverse Hollow Plumeria and then Electrovire for the rare. Because the bench definitely needs some help. Because um, I mean, if you're just looking at the bulk and the rares and the codes, you're only sitting at about $22. So the, the bench really needs to step it up here. We got a Stuffle, Mudbray, Tanamo, Arish, Dab Skull, Escape Rope. Wick, Mountain Lanakila. Hey, Reverse Hollow Knight, a little Nine Tails. That's what I was talking about. That. It's a dollar. Meow stick for the rare. Alright. Let's hope we get the pulls that we need. Come on, come on, come on. Three energy over there, then two. Alright. Start over the Noi Bat. Dupider. Tangela. Rhyhorn. Rio. Gorgon 2. Kiawe. Olivia. Reverse Hollow Tormenting Spray. Ooh. And a Ho Oh G. X. Definitely happy with that pull. I am out of sleeves, which is, of course, I am out of sleeves. Um, oh my god, hold on, let me get some sleeves. Be right back. All right, guys. All right, guys, I couldn't find my perfect fits. Um, so I'm just gonna use this Tapu Koko Guardians Rising sleeve for now. You guys know I usually like using perfect fits, but that will have to do for now. But before we continue, let's check out what Ho-Oh GX is at. It's, wow, not terrible. It's uh, five bucks. Not bad. I'm still looking for the reverse holo, not reverse holo, full art of the Ho-Oh GX. So hopefully we can pull that. All right, on to the next pack. But yeah, the box did give us three hits out of this side. So I'm definitely happy with that, but we can definitely get some more here. Got a Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Dab, Skull, Simba, Sage, Electric, Buffalant, Reverse Hollow, Rare, Zygarde, and a Sloking for the Rare. All right, guys, down to the last pack. Can we get some last pack clutchness to make some do? We shall see. Three energy, then two. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Set up with a Pampor, Pensage, Esper, Sock, Noibat, Electabuzz, Lana, Metapod, Reverse Hollow, not a rare, just an uncommon Noctile, but for the rare, we have a Salazzle GX Full Art. Oh my god. At least it's a full art though, so I'm not gonna complain. But hey, I do need this card for uh, my collection. Well, not my collection, for um. Completing the set, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Definitely a neat pull. Let's leave that up real quick. I still don't have my um, my perfect sleeves, so we're gonna keep using those uh, the sleeves that I have just over here. The Guardians Rising, Top of Coco's leaves. Hopefully, I don't damage the card. All right, here we go. So we got the Salazzle GX full art going with the normal Salazzle GX. Oh, it's sitting at around six dollars. That's not bad. I'm not gonna complain. That was good. Anyways, I'm gonna crank up and crank the numbers a little bit. See what we got from this opening. Uh, be right back. All right, guys. Now that I crunched up the numbers, 
we made about nine dollars from the codes over here um and looking at the, re the reverse hollow and hollow rares and the reverse hollow uncommons and uncommons and just the regular rares and the uncommons and commons plus these three money cards ace roll at 0 0.35 it's not a ton but it's something reverse hollow bear little nine tails at about a dollar and guzma at about a dollar 30 cents so with all that added up well i guess you can count them as bulk sort of if you want to just look at if you want to look at everything other than ultra rares and hyper rares and full arts and secret rares we're sitting at about eighteen dollars and six cents on the bulk and in terms of the hyper rares ho -Oh sitting at about five dollars i believe um and the uh salazzo only only at three dollars but the full art is six so which is cool but the glizzapod was the was the basically the one that carried the whole team here with 12 at 12 dollars and 30 cents so all these four ultra rares and the full art salazzo is around 26 dollars 26 dollars and 30 cents so with all that added up the profit, well not the profit, the value in which we got in this first and this second half is about $44.36. So a little lower than what we needed. We were looking for 50. So we definitely this was definitely a no in terms of if we got dough or no. But but if you want to look at the whole booster box as a whole, um the whole booster box costed costed about a hundred bucks for me hundred bucks US because um, I'm using all US pricing over here so I'm gonna look really quick at my notes over here so the first part being only $44 but the first I mean the second part only $44 first part was real good though um because the GX are just amazing but all in all the whole booster box we made about a hundred dollars and hundred and twelve dollars and seven cents so that was pretty cool guys um i'm gonna pull up the cards with the hits that we got from the first part and this was a uh, eight hit booster box so i'm definitely not complaining about that we definitely got some really neat pulls here really valuable stuff no secret rares or full out trainers of anything like that but man did we get value these are the top two decks at Worlds, so these two cards are definitely worth a lot. Charizard is always popular, Darkrai is great, Ho-Oh is awesome, Salazzo is Salazzo. We got the Full Art Bulu as well. So in terms of the hits that we got from this booster box, I gotta say, I am super happy about it. This was an 8 hit booster box. When you get that, you seriously can't complain. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this second edition or second episode of Do or No. The whole booster box as a whole, I definitely think we made some dough. Really, really happy about that. If you guys like the video, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. That is all I have for y'all today. This is Mike Pal. Till next time, y'all take care.